Welcome to another one of my Own Your Expertise interviews. I'm Emily Crookston. I'm the owner and decider of all things at The Pocket PhD. I'm the ghostwriter for Rebels, Renegades, and Mavericks, and I love helping experts with big ideas get those ideas out of their heads and into the hands of their fans. Today, I'm sitting down with Amanda Stern. Um, Amanda is a journaling educator and consultant, and her business is called Good Things Come to Those Who Journal who journal. And I've been following Amanda on LinkedIn for a while now. I love her posts. Um, so I'm super excited to chat with her. Amanda, thanks for speaking with me. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about who you work with and what you do? Yeah, thanks for having me, Emily. I work with ambitious professionals who want to journal and journal better. I believe that good things do come to those who journal and that there are all kinds of ways to journal. So everyone can find their own really their own way into the journaling world and access all of those good things that come their way. Awesome. Yeah, I love that because, you know, I you, you just posted about this, I think, today that, you know, there's so many ways to journal. And as somebody who's, you know, wanted to be a regular journaler, not really managed to make that happen for myself, I, I do find that really comforting. Like, you know, there doesn't have to be a way to journal. You know, you don't have to always do gratitude journaling, or you don't have to always just do stream of consciousness, right? You can go find a prompt online and, and do whatever. And I like the idea that your journaling can kind of fit your mood. Um, I think that that's kind of nice. And like, there doesn't have to be just one way. Um, so I really appreciate that myself. <laughs> well, I like to tell people that it's, um, it's like having a toolbox, right? Yeah. Like a hammer isn't enough to fix everything in your house. You need wrenches and screwdrivers and pliers. And that using a combination of these tools gets the job done. And journaling is the same way. There are so many different ways to journal. And I find there are so many people who journal and don't call it that and don't realize that's what they're doing. Right. Like, I call it planning my day or <laughs> down notes or sketching ideas yeah. or just writing, right? Mm -hmm. That's all journaling. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. believe when you own that and you call it what it is, mm -hmm. get access to all of those benefits. Well, how would you describe your path to becoming the expert you are? Yeah, I would call it accidentally on purpose. So <laughs> I, um, I've been journaling my whole life almost. Mm -hmm. um, I discovered it when I was an angsty teenager. I journaled my way through high school and college. Um, I journaled less when I was a busy mom with young kids. And I just, I found my way back to it or it found me. And I started writing about journaling on LinkedIn kind of accidentally on purpose. I was doing a 30 day writing program. I needed something to write about. And I thought I can write about journaling for three or four days, maybe a week if I stretch it. And that'll give me some time to buy, you know, to figure out what I want to talk about. Yeah. And I've just been blown away from the beginning at how this has resonated with people, mm. um, how much people connect with this content. I'm floored that there haven't been um, there hasn't been a lot of chatter on LinkedIn really until now. And now I'm really starting to see the journaling chatter pick up. And I'm really grateful because it's such a wonderful, useful, effective, versatile tool. We all can have yeah. access to it and we all should be journaling in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with all the emphasis on burnout and how to avoid burnout and self-care is, you know, such a thing. I see a lot of chatter about self-care all the time and mental health and all of that, you know, journaling definitely fits into all of those different ways of taking care of yourself and, and just getting out of your head in, in some ways and, you know, taking all of that mess that's up there and putting it down on paper is so helpful. I, I think it's so interesting, even like the science behind it, you know, when you write using your hand and using your hand-eye coordination and then and then it's out there it's outside of your head and you can look at it objectively all of that is those benefits are just incredible well you might be interested there's a great tedx talk by jake weedman who's the world's mm. youngest master penman and he talks about writing by hand and what that does for us yeah, i'm usually on the computer i'm usually writing and i think that i kind of think through my fingers but when i get on a call with a client i always go to my notebook and my pen and paper um and it's like a different if I want something to kind of stick in my head I've got to write with a pen uh, if I'm typing it I'm not going to remember <laughs> it's just not going to get into me in the same way yeah, and I'm 
exactly the same way. I do so much work on a computer that journaling is something I do by hand yeah. intentionally. I know there's a lot of people who don't like to write. Um, and to those people, I say, cool, you don't have to. You know, there's yeah. so many digital journaling apps and ways to journal electronically that if if that is what's going to motivate you to do it, cool, that's the right way for you. Mm -hmm. I like, I mean, I've always liked to write by hand. I'm a calligrapher for fun. I yeah. like the, I like, <sighs> I like the feel of pen on paper. I like warming letters. I like looking at my, you know, at the words that I wrote and thinking, oh, they're lovely. My penmanship is lovely. But yeah. also I think best when I'm writing because writing by hand slows me down. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, to really let my my brain and my head and my hands and my heart and all of me sync up with each other. Mm. And I always tell people like, I'm not sure. Like, I think I know how I feel about that. But let me journal on it and then I'll know. Mm. Security mm. for me comes through writing and it comes from writing longhand, usually in my journal. I love it. So, I mean, it really does sound like your path to becoming this journaling expert kind of found you, right? It wasn't even as if you had gone out looking for it. It just kind of showed up when it was, when it was ready to be uh, explored, I guess. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. I call it my uh, my very own Wizard of Oz moment. I've spent <laughs> so much of my life really looking for the thing that I could make my own and give mm. to the world. And just to, to discover in my own backyard that it's this thing that I've always done. And it's funny because I was telling a friend the other day, it's it's not journaling. Like, I love journaling. It's super helpful. I do it. I enjoy doing it. But that's not where my passion is. My passion is helping other people connect with journaling so they can see yeah. the benefits and the magic in their own lives. And right. I, it's for me, it's that education piece. Mm -hmm. I have a background as a school librarian. I love teaching and sharing. Um, I'm the go-to person for my friends if they want to learn how to make an apple pie or you know, <laughs> plant a garden or whatever weird right. thing I want to do, I probably have done it or can figure it out with them. Um, so it's that teaching bit that I yeah. really get passionate about and helping people really catch the magic and find a way, um, find a way that works for them to find their own in because there are so many mm -hmm. different ways to journal that the way you journal, Emily, might not look like how I journal. And how you journal today might not look like how you journaled yesterday mm. or how you journal tomorrow. Mm. And that's not only fine, it's great. It's the absolute right way. If you're getting what you need from your journaling, you're doing it right. I'm curious, how often do you reread what you've written? I reread when I have to reread. Um, I go back if I'm looking for something in okay. particular, usually at the end of the year um, when I'm doing a reflection, I want to kind of skip back and see what my year has been like. Or um, or if like um, I'm trying to remember details of a particular thing I wrote about. Mm -hmm. So a couple of months ago, I was telling someone the story about how gratitude journaling changed the trajectory of my life about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, my, my then husband came home from work one day and he was like, I've decided I'd be happier not being married to you. Ooh. And mm. yeah, ooh is exactly <laughs> with that, right? So yeah. I did the only thing I could think of is I reached for my journal and I knew I had a choice to make that I could mm. either let myself spiral into negativity or I could reach reach out and grab hold of every good thing that came my way. Mm. So I opened my journal and I made myself write what I was grateful for. And it's funny because the way I told the story for years was that I wrote three things. And so a couple of months ago, I went and I found that journal because yeah. I remember thinking like, how many things really did I write? Because three was like a, it was like a good number for a story, right? And mm -hmm. I counted eight things. Yeah. And I thought, holy cow, if I can be grateful for eight things on the hardest day of my life, mm. what a good life I lead. I mean, yeah. even if it was only three things, if I can be grateful for three things on the hardest yeah. day, of my life, that's still a really good life. Mm -hmm. um, so it really did change the trajectory of my life. Well, Amanda, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Uh, would you like to tell people uh, where they can find you online if they're curious? Yeah, sure thing. So you can find me on LinkedIn every day. I share journaling related content. I share fresh journal prompts every day. So you always have something new to journal about if you need it. Um, and you can also find me at goodthingscometothosewhojournal.com. Thanks so much, Amanda. Perfect. Thank you, Emily.